Good morning. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Can you tell me the definition of a function in mathematics? Sure. In mathematics, a f- function is a relation between a set of inputs and a set of possible outputs where each input is related to exactly one output. Functions are often written as f of x, where x is the input and f of x is the output. Does that help? Yeah, that was very nice and very straightforward. Thank you so much. I have another question. You're welcome. What's your next question? Can you tell me uh, the components of a linear function? Sure. A linear function has the form f equals mx plus b. The components are m, the slope, which indicates the steepness of the line and the direction, positive for upward, negative for downward. Many b, the y-intercept, which is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. These components define the line in a two-dimensional plane. That was good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. This is beautiful. This is today's video. The newest chat GPT chat conversation. Let's watch this. Hello. Hi again. How can I help you today? I have a math question. Sure. Go ahead with your question. Okay. The question is a right triangle. Um, basically, the right triangle provides uh, the sides uh, legs four and three. Can you help me uh, how to find the missing side? Of course. To find the hypotenuse of a right triangle when the legs are given, you use the Pythagorean theorem, which states a2 plus b2 equals c2. Here, a and b are the lengths of the legs, and c is the length of the hypotenuse. Given a equals 4b, 3, plug these values into the Pythagorean theorem, 4 plus 3 cur 2 equals c2. This simplifies to 16 plus 9c, 25 equals ct. To find c, take the square root of both sides. c equals e equals square 25c. So the length of the hypotenuse is 5. Thank you so much. That was really, really good. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. That's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. This is uh, ChatGPT, uh, the new version uh, that, that is uh, interacting uh, with a tutor, with a math tutor. And you have here all the transcript of the conversation from the very beginning with the formula. Uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the information given, the process of simplifications. I'm testing this new version with simple math questions, and I will be testing this with more sophisticated questions. But this is the last uh, update, and I know that more is coming. Uh, so, ChatGPT 4.0 will be able, I'm talking about this chap gpt 4.0 it will be able to um check your screen uh so you don't have to um describe the question you don't have to say the question so chat gpt will be able to uh see your screen and help you with the with the question with the math question This is amazing. And this is uh, what I have today in our video. How to use ChatGPT as a math tutor and the new ChatGPT. What do you think? Leave your comments below.
there is another feature here in ChatGPT app. Look at the question that I have there. It's a geometry question, and I have to find the uh, the missing angle B. I copy and paste this, and I ask ChatGPT to um, find the answer and the explanation. So let me paste the right here. Uh, so I'm going to capture this. I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT what is the measure of the angle B. Let me see what happens, no? Okay, very nice. Uh, they said to find the measure of the angle B, we can use the fact that the, ang the red angle is a right angle, which is good. Uh, and the angle adjacent to B is 31, since the angles uh, around a point sum up to 180. So we have B plus 31 plus 90. B plus 31 plus 90 equal 180. And they subtract 180 minus 31 minus 90, okay, in order to find the missing angle B, uh, B is uh, 59. They answer the question uh, because um, it's, I can use a calculator here, and I also know that 31 plus B is 90, so I can subtract 90 minus uh, 31, and I will be getting the 59. Two different approaches, the same answer. This is another feature that I have been testing. I recommend that you test more questions and be aware that this is AI and mistakes can be made. So you have before you use it as a tutor or use it as a resource, it's important that you verify that the answers are correct and the and the uh, conceptual mathematics uh, is correct. Um, this is ChatGPT 4.0, and ChatGPT 4.0 will be uh, getting more updates. And this is, remember, ch uh, voice chat. And what is coming is image voice chat. So ChatGPT will be able to uh, record or watch uh, and read your screen and provide the answer. I hope that uh, you understand uh, what I'm trying to tell you here is new updates in the world of education from AI. Uh, remember, in order to have access to all of this full access, you need to pay uh, the premium, the plus uh, subscription, which is uh, $20 per month. If you like the video, please don't forget to give us a like and share this information to teachers and students. You can use ChatGPT also as a tutor. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.